Okay. So I'm gonna do an album review. I made a different video that was way longer and I wanna kinda of shorten up all my points. So anyways, I wanna say my overall opinion of the thing is I don't think they really had too many huge songs. Now huge songs, I mean songs like Duality, The Devil and I, you know, Psychosocial, you know, these just humongous songs that are just like, you know, relatable, but just amazing and really show the true talent of the band as a whole. And Corey Taylor, the one of the most talented singers in the world. So, <clears throat> um, that being said, the whole, the entire band is, you know, they're all good songs. I think that they all, as members, they all offer something to the band. They are a super band, and I kind of wonder why there aren't more bands like this. And by super band, I mean they have more than just the bass concept band, you know, bass, guitar, drums, singer, you know. They have more going on. They they wear they wear masks like they're like they're being like they're being mascots in addition to being in the band and playing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they got a team, they got mascots, they're all mascots. They all wear masks, they're all in costume, they're all in character. You know what I mean? That being said, I think that may be quite possibly the the ultimate crown that the the band's success come and leech off of Corey Taylor's talent. That being said, I don't know, you know, Slipknot would not be Slipknot with all the members in it. And who knows what, where Corey Taylor would be without the band Slipknot. That being said, I'm not trying to trash anyone and I don't want to sit here and talk about Corey Taylor all day. You know, people obsess about the guy and I just feel like it's, Anyways, so Unsainted was the biggest song on the album, and it was one I, I put on repeat. Now, I've been listening to some nice since I was about 14 years old, and I think that my kind of listener experience has changed over the years, and I can kind of have a different opinion about different albums. Now, I think that maybe I don't pay attention to a lot of the reviews that are going around and what people really think about all the albums and stuff, but... As far as I know, there's a lot of people that think All Hope Is Gone is a terrible album, but um, I don't know. Maybe maybe the mass majority don't think that. Um, I thought that they could have had some harder tracks in it. They could have had bigger songs. I don't really know what their, their process is, if they're just trying to make hits or if they're trying to do what they want and make hits or if they're just making music. I mean, I do know that obviously they're trying to make hits, metal hits, which it can be hard to make metal hits. Anyways, um, that being said, I, I mean, they obviously are tryhards. They obviously did take their, their hobbies to the next level and it's kind of miraculous that they're even able to have such a band that's so successful. That being said, I don't really want to call anybody tryhards. And I guess they're just simply talented not trying to get into an in-depth thing about talent but anyways yeah I mean it, it was a really good album I kind of feel dissatisfied I also feel like I got my money's worth um I think that they're all good songs they're all professionally made they're all good you know they're a professional band they're they've been doing it a long time so I didn't expect anything less but that being said, I did want some bigger tracks or some different tracks, and it almost seems like they just weren't able to deliver that. But, I mean, what can you really expect? I mean, we're probably lucky that they even came out with an album, you know, after all these years. So, you know, Unsainted was the biggest song. And I don't want to discount the other ones. They are good, you know. I just felt like they could add bigger ones. Is that their fault? Or do they just make the songs? You know what I mean? So, um, back to what I was saying before, would where would Clown be without Corey? Where would any of them be without Corey? 
because Corey is like destined to be a singer because he's one of the most talented singers in the world, obviously. So where would they be? Would they ever even be on the map? Where would Sid be? You know what I mean? I'm, that's kind of being an asshole. That's kind of being broad. I don't want to talk shit about anybody. But if you were to say, where would I be? You know, if I was, if me, the some random guy was in a band with, with Corey Taylor, right? And I was just there because Corey Taylor was so fucking good. You know, that's what I'm saying. But anyways, that's kind of being an asshole. Um, but yeah, super bands. I kind of losing train of thought of what I talked about, but super bands, yeah, you know, Hollywood Undead, Mushroom Head, Linkin Park, super bands. They have more than just the bass members. That's what I call a super band. Why aren't there more super bands? I guess there's a lot of bands that kind of fall off the edge and you never really hear about them. Anyways, I'll continue on. Birth of Control. Birth of Gr Cruel, I like that one. I can almost hear like there's some kind of influence in it from some type of music they listen to. I'm not really sure. It sounds really like brutal and you know, I don't really know what they personally, like, I don't really know what they really listen to or what they're fans of or, you know, what, if they, if they're all, they pay attention, if they listen to new metal or, I'm not saying, uh, N-U metal, but I'm saying N-E-W, like, new released metal, <clears throat> whatever that might be, it might be new and you that's confusing, um, so yeah, I mean, the Brother Control, Cruel, I like the song, um, Neo 4D, Red Flag, Orphan, I like all those. Again, though, they're kind of, um, not really like huge songs, Unsaned was a huge song, I, but I do want to say that they're all huge songs, because they're a huge band, but yeah, Unsaned takes cake. You know, just like Devil and the Devil and I took the cake on the last one. Although I did enjoy the entire album. So another thing I want to say is maybe possibly they're getting older and that's kind of affecting their creation process. I don't really know. Um, I do know that they're getting older. Like I think Corey Taylor is pushing like 50 or something. I don't want to sit here and talk about Corey Taylor. Because I know he'll probably come to my house and bitch slap me. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, they are kind of getting older, though. Um, anyways, I don't really know what to say. I feel like I'm dissatisfied in a lot of ways. I also feel like I got my money's worth. Just like I said. It's kind of like I'm, like, mixed on it. But that being said, I am happy to have, you know, I've gotten the album and listened to it. And... You know, All Our Life, I like that song. You know, I wasn't really even expecting them. But the, here they came, you know. Here they came like a freight train out of hell. And they hit me in the face. And so, yeah. You know. I was, I was unexpected on the great chapter, too. I didn't expect them. I didn't expect that. And that came out. And I was like, I forgot about Slipknot for a long, like... I want to say I forgot about them, but I kind of forgot about them. You know what I mean? But then they came out the great chapter, and I was like, damn. They're back. But, you know, they're old. <laughs> nah, they're still cool. Their masks make them immortal, because they're not humans. They're horror characters. <clears throat> but, yeah, anyways, um, there's kind of some interesting stuff on it. I kind of feel like, you know, they do try to put like a slow song or like a, like a bring it down type song on their albums. And I can't really remember exactly the titles. Um, I knew No Snuff was kind of one of those. And Snuff was a huge, like a big song. You know what I'm saying? Snuff was a big song. Still is a big song. You know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like there wasn't really a big song like that. Like a bring it down big song. Because Unsated was like the kind of in your face big song, or I almost feel like Unsainted was like closely related to a, the Devil and I. You know what I mean? I feel like it was 
like almost like the 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 structure of the song and in like like a hit like as a hit it was almost like it was close related to that <clears throat> um but yeah that's definitely the biggest song as far as the videos go i did enjoy the videos um i don't know it was just kind of a it was definitely an interesting experience i definitely enjoyed it i you know i enjoyed the videos i enjoyed the messages they're putting in and almost you know it's like a cult it's like a religion man but i don't see slim as like a bad cult like a satanic cult or anything I, you know if anything it's a it's a positive thing it's like you know i'm me don't fuck with me i'll be angry if i want to however you want to put it you know what i mean like it <sighs> However you want to put it, man. Maybe it's more sick and twisted than I really want to admit. Am I a part of a disgusting, nasty cult that brainwashes people with music? <laughs> no. No, but I am. I got a pod tattoo of Paul Gray. So you see how serious I am. No, this isn't about me. But I have listened to all the albums several times i've went into marathon mode meaning i put the albums on repeat you know and i've done that so many times to the point where i cannot listen to them anymore because <laughs> i've just listened to them too much you know and i do know it's not all about the at-home listening experience um <clears throat> anyways so it was good it could have been better I think they had too many songs that, that were brought down low. Is that because of their age? I don't know. That's kind of being a dick to say something like that. Am I overanalyzing it? Yeah, probably. I mean, what more can I expect? Um. That being said, I would say, um, I would say Birth of the Crow was probably in second place for me. Um, Red Flag, I like that one. Neo Forte. Orphan. Maybe. Other than that, all the other ones, I I don't think they were as big. But, you know, it is Slipknot. So they were good. Um, oh, Solid Wave first. Actually, Solid Wave first, probably second. I think Solid Wave first, probably the second one. And then Birth of a Curl in third. As far as rank of best songs. Um, anyways... I guess that's all I really got to say about this. Um, this was a simplified version of my, the other video was twice as long. So I hope, hopefully I got everything that I wanted to get into this. Um, yeah. Good album. Solid band. You know, better than most of shit out there. How they did that. They're just fucking amazing. They're just wizards, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> Would they be what they are without Corey? I think that's a question you need to ask yourself. I don't know. Corey is destined to be a singer. I do know that. He is destined. He's just so fucking good. Like, and that's what I ask myself too. Corey... How the fuck are you so fucking good? Like, just, how are you so fucking good, man? Just, how? How are you so fucking good? It's insane. It's just insane. Look at your success, man. You're fucking amazing, man. You're talented. That's what I'm saying. All these other bastards in this band just would not be where they were without him. That's pretty fucked up, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's like saying it's like a random like me, like I knew a band with Corey Taylor, right? And we were successful. I'm like, yeah, I'm successful. But it's like, no, Corey Taylor was successful. You were just kind of there. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Um, anyways, I guess that's all I really got to say. I mean, I could get... Like, I'm sure I could do a more in-depth review about, like, the lyrics and, you know, the riffs and the singing and 
comparison to other albums, but I kind of want to say that I'm dissatisfied. I kind of want to say that I was, it was good. That being said, I'm probably compensating because I'm biased to doing that. I just like them. And it just kind of sucks. And there's only a cool few good songs. But that's kind of fucked up. Why would you want to do that? To a person. It's a human being who made this music. And now you are just trashing it. <laughs> oh, anyways, okay. I'm probably, um... I don't have anything else to say. I feel like the, you know, I just feel like there could have been some bigger songs on it. But they did do their job. They did a good job, but it was like here and they could have been up here, but how can they get there when they were, they were, all they could be was here, but they wanted to be up here. But how could they be up here if this is where they were gonna be? So maybe they'll be up here in the future. But they're all going to be old geezers here pretty soon. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. I think I expect too much. Alright, that's it. I'm saying it was the best song. They could have did better. And that's all I got to say.